Good evening and welcome to the channel's studios here in London with your international news around the world in five. The US president has met leaders of NATO's eastern border to mark the anniversary of the Ukraine war. Joe Biden met the group known as the Bucharest Nine in Warsaw a day after his landmark speech in Poland. He also met NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg. One of the main topics of discussion was supplying more aid to Ukraine. I look forward to the discussion and the next steps we can take together and to keep our alliance strong and to further deter aggression. Because what literally is at stake is not just Ukraine, it's freedom. The idea that over 100,000 forces would invade another country after a war since World War II, nothing like that has happened. Things have changed radically. We have to, we have to make sure we change them back. Earlier, China's top diplomat said his country's ties with Russia could not be influenced by other countries. <laughs> Due to various sanctions imposed on Russia by Western countries, China has increasingly become an important trading partner for Russia. Speaking in a meeting with President Vladimir Putin, Wang Yi said he expected further agreements to come between the two countries. Vladimir Putin later issued a rallying cry to Russians during a stadium concert in central Moscow to get behind the country's armed forces fighting in Ukraine. He led the crowd in chants of Russia and said the whole country stood behind what the Kremlin calls a special military operation in Ukraine. A high school student has stabbed a teacher to death in a school in the French town of Saint-Jean-de-Luz. Police attended St. Thomas d'Aquin School with the local prosecutor, where a 16-year-old student was arrested. Local media say the teacher was in her 50s and died of cardiac arrest after the emergency services arrived at the school. Health officials say 10 Palestinians, including an elderly man and several militants, have been killed during an Israeli military raid in the occupied West Bank. Explosions and gunfire sounded as troops raided the heart of Nablus, triggering armed clashes with gunmen. Hey, it is understood heavy Israeli fire was directed at a house, killing two senior Palestinian militants inside. The Israeli military earlier confirmed its troops were operating in Nablus. The United Nations will need to mobilize a record $2.25 billion this year to address the mass displacement of people in East Democratic Republic of Congo following a major offensive by M23 rebels last year. The UN coordinator for the country, Bruno Le Marquis, said decades of militia violence in Congo worsened last year after the Tutsi-led M23 staged a major comeback in North Kivu province. It has led to more than 600,000 people being displaced. At least four people have died after a tropical cyclone battered Madagascar's east coast with heavy rain and powerful winds tearing roofs off houses and triggering a storm surge. Cyclone Freddy made landfall on Tuesday, weeks after another tropical storm killed 33 people and left thousands without shelter. Schools have been shut and traffic has been suspended in 10 regions. Earlier, Freddy caused some damage in Mauritius, flooding beachside hotels. <laughs> and wakeboarders have braved the icy temperatures of the Arctic Circle to complete an obstacle course made of ice and snow. Felix Georgi and Dominik Gers of Germany and Austrian Dominik Hörnler jumped over an igloo, rode over ice dominoes and did aerial tricks to complete the custom-built course. The riders had to break the ice in the pools of water as the temperatures had dropped to minus 18 degrees Celsius. And that's your international news around the world in five. Now back to the channel studios in Lagos.